Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great wisdom, which is word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely. I say Shalom to y'all, uh, Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson, another one, through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Shah. On this uh, July the 15th, uh, 8 27 p.m. Central Standard Time, on this uh, Friday night. And the title of this quick sit down lesson is going to be It's um, Whether They Hear or Whether They Forbear. And this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, verse 5, and verse 5 in the book of Ezekiel. In the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall they know that have been a prophet among you right because whether they hear or forbear you know this word is going to be brought up you know prophesy unto the wind whether they hear or forbear you know and that's the children of israel for not taking heed to the fact that they are the children of israel because they still of, of of this world which is the israelites as the so-called negroes latinos and native americans and the speckled bird israelites as well too you know, if they don't take heed to this word, hey, whether they hear or forbear, because this word is still going to be preached out, whether it, people like it or not, you know, especially our people, because, you know, the children of Israel are very uh, stubborn, very stiff-necked, very rebellious, and I have to admit, I, I used to be like that as well, too, before I came into the truth, the Wadi al for letting me have an opportunity and chance to be in this truth, you know, and not be rebellious and not be stiff necked and not be proud, arrogant, and haughty as well, too. So, you know, that's why, Lord willing, continue to follow the ways of Yahweh by Chanel Shai and continue to be meek, humbleness, and sincerity. And Lord willing, continue to grow in the truth as well as the other brothers. That's coming in this truth as well, too, you know, Lord willing. Why do y'all buy Shemel Shai for that, you know, constantly, continually, you know, through the spirit, power, mercy, and mercy of Yahweh Why y'all Shai. And so, yeah, you know, <clears throat> whether they hear or forbear, the word is going to be uh, preached through the four corners of the globe, which I believe that's in the book of Matthew 24, I believe. Like the uh, the gospel shall be preached throughout the four corners of the globe, and that's what you're seeing. This word is being spread out throughout the four corners of the globe. And you're seeing the uh, the servants, the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, through the four corners of the globe. You know, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, out on the highways and byways, week in and week out, or even given um, day or the week. You know, you see the men out there uh, preaching the word preaching the right true doctrine of Yahweh Shemel Shah. So the children of Israel that still that they don't know that they are Israel, uh, being a rebellious house, stubborn, stiff neck, and uh, arrogant and high mighty and proud. You know, whether they hear or forbear, but the word is gonna be brought out. Even if they laugh, scoff and mock you know, the word is still going to be preached out, whether they hear it for beer, whether they like it or not, you know, the word is still going to be preached out through the four corners of the globe, and that's what you're seeing, you know. And uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, precept, the uh, book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 33, in the book of uh, Ezekiel, verse 33, in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, and when, it, and when this come to pass, lo, it will come that they should know that a prophet has been amongst them, right? The children of Israel is going to know when all these things take place on the planet Earth, which is taking place right now. When things start to increase more and more and more, more prophecies are coming. This is the wars and rumors of wars, uh, the MOTB, 
which is the digital karagma when that thing gonna be uh implemented inside your body which is recorded in the book of uh, revelations 13 verse 16 through verse 17 you know as the hour of temptation comes either they down with the heavenly father and his only begotten son or they down with this idumian uh system you know so you know then the children of israel that still that they don't know that they're israel they still uh blinded to the fact that they are uh, the bywords that we've been called still to this day black negro african american you know or Ghana Guyanese you know Belizean Colombian Puerto Rican Native American you know, all these terms that they still don't know that they are the children of Israel. They're going to know a uh, prophet was among them trying to tell them to wake up that they are the children of Israel. They are the uh, real lost sheep of the house of, of Israel. They are the uh, real 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Because they're going to know that a prophet was amongst them. If they uh, ignore it, walk past, you know, laugh, scoff, and mock saying that they are in the cult you know they are crazy they are brainwashed but they are gonna know that a prophet was amongst them you know that's how that's all the men and lord is bringing out the word which was commanded us to do as being the prophets and the servants of uh, the heavenly father and his only begotten son as well too you know to wake up the lost sheep of the house of israel to the best of our ability that's why you see the uh, men on the four corners of the globe out there preaching the word, men on the highways and byways, uh, week in and week out, you know, and preaching the word. So they're going to know that a prophet was amongst them. You know, our own people going to realize that a prophet was amongst them, trying to tell them these things in the last days of... Uh, what's going on right now with the inflation the cost of living the economy you know and everything else if, uh up wars of up wars of the people in the world wars and rumors of wars increasingly nations against nation kingdom against kingdoms you know today we are you know the men of the lord out there prophesying and telling these things to warn them but they if they don't take heed to it hey they they gonna know that you know a prophet was amongst them you know the people that look like you the same skin complexion you know saying that they out there crazy you don't know what they talking about you know our people gonna realize that when that time comes when the uh, time of jacob's trouble come once that come into full effect you know and that motb comes in the full effect along with it as well too and all these increase of calamities gonna come upon this world, which is uh, recorded in the book of Matthew's 24 and 21. It's gonna be great tribulation like we never ever seen before since the beginning of time. You know, once that gonna start increase at a higher level, you know, cause we seeing signs of it, but once it fully be implemented and decrease, you know, at a higher level, than it is right now you know when all these prophecies are starting to come to pass they're gonna realize that a prophet was amongst them in that day you know so like the scripture says Romans 13 and 11 for now it's high time to wake out of sleep because our salvation is nearer than we believe now it's high time to wake out of sleep the children of Israel you know in the last days you know You know, if you wake up to hear this message, you know, acknowledge that you are an Israelite, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and a speckled bird is life as well, too, that's scattered through the four corners of the globe, you know, through the bloodline, the sea land of your father, of a Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, you are the true Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures. And you're going to know that a prophet was among you, the people that look like you, 
in the same race as you, you know, the same nation of all the 12 tribes, to telling you that you are an Israelite from all the, from the different tribes, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, you know, then the Northern Kingdom, Naphtali, Asher, Simeon, you know, Manasseh, and many more of the tribes, you know. Issachar, Zebulon, that, no, that's your uh, royal nationality that was scripted from you. You know, you can read that in the book of Jeremiah 17 and 4 as we've been discontinued from our heritage. Now we're starting to get back into the fold that our heritage is being given back to us. So acknowledge that you are an Israelite, you know, even though whether you hear it for beer, the word is still going to be brought out. So you chosen to Israel. Now is the time to get your uh, nationality of who you are, you know, that you are an Israelite of the 12 tribes of Israel. Keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. Acknowledge who you is, your name, language, and culture was stripped away from you. Now it's starting to come back to you. As you see the men of the Lord, uh, preaching the word truth and sincerely through the four corners of the globe, you know. And as I bring out Ezekiel 33 and 3, whether they hear us a beer, and then they should know that a prophet was among you, you know. So with that, uh, this uh, hope this was edifying. Sit down lesson for today through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahushua. And first and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, pushing the word, truth, and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, uh, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the word, truth, and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, uh, preaching the word, truth, and sincerely. And until next time, I will say uh, shalom and a ball, ball, ball.